Hey Virgos, welcome back. Welcome back to another installment of the drama in your life. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. Hope you've been enjoying the readings lately. All right, now we're going to get right into this. Right into this reading. It's going to be for July 2022. This is for Virgos, Virgo only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And please keep in mind some of the messages may or may not resonate, so don't force it. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And please do subscribe if you enjoy the readings. All right, Virgo. We're going to do a Celtic Cross. Take a look and see what the Celtic Cross energies, what's playing out here. Okay, Two of Cups. And presently is the Sun. Oh, okay. So did you meet somebody? Okay, recently, the recent past, perhaps, friendship, romance, blossoming, blossoming. I'm making up words here. What do you want? The sun, Leo energy. The challenge is <laughs> to get something out in the open here, um, to get some communication started. Um, I don't know if you've met someone, and then for some of you, you're, you're, there might be like, okay, a little delay in between. Let me just take a look. I, I'm just curious because, all right, hold on. I'm just curious. Okay. Wow, this King of Wands just keeps showing up in your readings. I don't understand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay. So you t you met somebody. Some of you may. Could be friends or, or what have you. Um, or you will be meeting somebody and then the present will be in July. Uh, a connection with a fire sign. Okay. Um, now, okay, I see how this is going. Um, this person is, it doesn't have to be fire, okay? Um, but this person, hmm, they want to talk to you. They want to communicate with you a little bit more, but they are, uh, there's something kind of, they know they should. They know they should. They know they should be reaching out. Or seeing something to you. Three of uh, cups on the bottom of the deck. This is something to do with dating. So let's see. If right now you're listening to this reading, this is for July. You could be meeting somebody if you haven't already, where maybe there's a date or a get together, uh, sitting, having dinner. Could be a Leo for some of you, sitting, having some food, some drinks, celebrating, asking each other questions, getting to know each other. Um, this magician energy here. Okay. Putting everything out on the table and then somebody shuts something down in the interim. Okay. In a small little space of time. There's no communication. And Virgo, it could be you. I feel like you, maybe you meet someone and then there's like this small space of time where with the nine of wands, you're kind of like, suspicious i feel like there's a suspicious energy about this person not really sure if you should continue to talk to them or maybe something gets said and it's you don't like what's said or you're not sure about this person okay this doesn't feel like i don't know it might it might play out from yesterday's reading but what i feel like is going on here is somebody's just kind of putting a stop or a delay there's an obstacle to communicating. They sh like somebody should be talking to another person, but something's going on. What is going on here? Huh, okay. There might be somebody else in the picture. Or somebody might be pregnant. Or somebody maybe found out that another person was talking to somebody. Okay. There's some kind of stop or some kind of delay. And this is Taurus or Libra in energy. Mm -hmm. somebody found out that's what I that's what I feel somebody found out that uh, so it feels like a third party kind of thing it got it got exposed with the Sun okay and there's kind of like or it gets exposed and something doesn't move forward what's crowning this reading yeah or uh, driving the reading is the three of swords okay third party that's what I was saying there's somebody and it may just be of like friendship it's it you know the two of cups can just represent friendship it could be like a spark or two people who meet and are like okay we're having a meeting of the minds we understand each other there's some kind of connection gets me but somebody else is in the picture and finds out about this okay 
Let's see. Crowning the reading. Oh, now we have a Queen of Swords. Okay. And uh, somebody's thinking about saying something nasty to another person. Hmm. Communicating, giving some truth, being honest, and, and calling somebody out on their shit. Wow. Okay. Six of Cups. Hmm. Virgo, I feel like you meet somebody or you connect with someone and there's a good connection, but there's a third party in the picture and that third party finds out and stops the person that you meet from communicating, okay, intervenes, and then I feel for some of you, this, this other person is going to be reaching out to you and saying something, how do you know each other or how did you meet? Or what is going on? Or do you know that he or she has kids uh, with me? Or <laughs> this is drama. This is so much drama right here. Right? Oh my gosh. So much drama. Okay. So somebody, yeah, there's some kind of like beginning in July, there's some type of communication from a third party. You're, listen, Virgo, I feel like you're a bystander. I feel like you're standing on the side here. Your intentions are good. You're just doing whatever you need to do. And there's either a jealous ex or this is someone that somebody you meet is already involved with and doesn't say anything or maybe maybe they were going to tell you or they're going to tell you that they were leaving. I don't know. Let me take a look. Okay. Hmm. Sagittarius energy. For some of you, the Sagittarius. Someone connected to a, fed, a Sagittarius asking... Um, Asking you, how do you know this person? Did you meet? A, did you meet at a bar? Was are, somebody's a bartender? Was there um, a connection somewhere? Having drinks somewhere? Oh boy, I'm feeling like some heavy stalking near future. Okay, we got the star and the five of swords. Holy shit! Yeah, Virgo, somebody's coming in here to like their jealousy jealousy and that five of swords man that's tough energy that's like bullying there's a bully coming in um you're shining bright like a diamond here okay you're looking good somebody's super jealous of you are you talking to my my other half are you talking to my my partner or something like that uh, there's a fight there's a cat fight breaking out there's a cat fight let me see let's look at you what's the energy of you okay you have the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Virgo, I feel like you're going to have an opportunity to walk away from this situation. And when it happens, do it. Get out super fast. I don't know who this person is. They may not be significant to you in any way. You might just go on a date with somebody. Simple. Or meet up with a friend. Um, nothing crazy on your end. I don't see anything crazy on your end. But your advice here is... When the opportunity arrives for you to get out of this and to leave, lesson learned, not getting back into this again, if you've been in this situation before, but lesson learned, I'll take my ball and I'm going home. I don't want nothing to do with this, okay? The victory is yours if you get out of it super quick. Let's take a look at this, this fire sign energy or air sign or whomever it is, this person that shows up that you, that you connect with. Okay, two swords and nine of cups. Okay, they were hiding. This person, or this, is this person. Okay. Oh, now we have the king of swords. Okay. Um, so this person, external to you, whoever you might connect with, um, they are... Um, so I feel like they're not happy with the person that they're with, okay? Um, and I feel like, like as far as their emotions go, it feels like this person is, you know, they're in a position of like blocking. Um, they're just trying to get their wishes and needs met here. Yeah, I don't like this person's energy. And for some, they might have just been trying to, you know, lay down on the pillow there with you but there's another person involved and you know what I, I just both of that both of those messages I'm not a fan of that I'm not a fan of both of those messages there okay for July so this could be a Gemini Libra or Aquarius as well 
this person, yep, yeah, they were stepping out. Um, this person was trying to, you know, get their needs met, get a little R and R piece, re relaxation with not just you, but maybe somebody else. Now, listen, if somebody, if this, listen, don't force things. Don't wake up in the middle of the night or go into your, or call your person or text them or roll over on the other side of the bed and say, I just listened to House of Virgo's reading and House of Virgo said you're cheating. Who's the other woman? Please don't do that. That's like, that's like people who have a, um, a dream that their partner is cheating and they wake up and bash him over the head with a pillow. You know what I mean? Like we're not doing that here. Okay. This might not be for you, but if you know there's a third party situation, if this is resonating with you or you suspect something is going on, then you just, you have to investigate and dig a little bit deeper without looking like you're digging. Okay. To get to the heart of the matter. Okay. I hope so. Yep. So you're sitting here like, Hmm. How do I handle this situation? What do I do? What do I do with this situation? So that's what I see you doing. Um, you're hoping you're going to be able to like manage or maneuver. And this is a card of like really contemplate. You need to contemplate before you do anything here. Listen, if you're, if you're in the intention of trying to get some answers or figure out what's going on with this person, take, um, hold your breath first before you start jumping in. Okay. Uh, just sit on your, just bite your tongue for a minute and think it through thoroughly for others. You know, <laughs> if, if you're like, no, I already know about this. I'm taking, you know, somebody's handing me the fare for the bus and I'm hopping right on that bus or I'm hopping on that plane and I'm getting out of Dodge, just whatever. Or you're handing them a ticket and saying, get the F out. Okay. That's what you need to do. Let me see what the outcome is. Okay. Page of Pentacles and ten of wands here okay so yep some of you like i feel like you're gonna send a message to this person like you're bringing me a whole hell of a lot of drama the ten of wands energy like this is a heavy burden i don't want this burden go finish your business with the person that you're with before coming into my world and because i'm not inviting you and your partner to be in my world. I'm not trying to be in a threesome or have some kind of relationship like that, you know? Um, and I feel like your, your outcome is you're going to tell this person, you know, here's your, here's your fare, get the F out, <laughs> take a bus, ride off the edge of a cliff. I don't care. Go deal with what you need to deal with, with your family or your, your partner or your ex before you bring that shit here. Cause I'm out here trying to manifest and you know create and create the abundance and cultivate real relationships with people not this fake ass shit <laughs> Virgo. oh i hear my grandson um, where's my deck oh my goodness hold on you guys i just put my deck somewhere and i don't know where We're having a day we are having a day i have to like rearrange my entire setup you guys because stuff's really not working out for me here i need a little feng shui change okay let me see what these messages are sorry hold on i'm trying to sort myself out here okay let's see what other messages are there here for virgo i'm gonna do an extended reading uh to see what this person's going to do. Um, and now for some of you, you might just meet this person or you might be committing or not committing, but connecting with them. Maybe this could be somebody you met in the past that you've been engaging with and somebody else comes forward and starts up some drama. Virgo, I just don't see you wanting to take any part in any kind of drama. All right. There's a love call here. Someone expresses love, message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Okay, so even if you just tell this person you don't want to communicate with them or just to go away or just quit bothering you, they're going to keep calling you like crazy. Oh, you've got love. <laughs> this person's like obsessed with you. Um, but you're also like, I'm all about me. Of course you're obsessed with me. Self-love. I respect myself. I have dignity. I know who I am. Okay, but this person is like, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like they really... I mean, they're stepping out on their partner for a reason, maybe because it's a queen of swords or a king of swords that they were involved with. They might've been a mismatch, but there's generally 
no emotion attached with that sword energy even if it's somebody coming through with Libra and energy um, yeah Libra is the, is the Venus planet but they can be very cutting very cutting and they just pretty much they're like a they're like um and no offense to anybody who's a Libra here who's listening I have some Libra in my chart but Libras are like they're the ones with the push pin that pops the balloon the love balloon they they just they either they pop the love balloon by way of their nasty mouth or they pop the love balloon by way of infidelity Libras I hate to say it unless they get themselves together uh, not all of them okay I'm not saying every single Libra is a cheater but a lot of them kind of tend to go that way and it's just that plant that Venus stuff going on you know they just seek partnership okay separation sadness somebody's going to be listen Virgo whoever this person is that you tell to take a dive <laughs> a deep dive off a shallow <laughs> into a shallow lake whoever you tell this to this person I mean they're not going to let you go which you know that could be creepy and and that could be flattering at the same time but it could also be like seriously uh, like what do, you know what are you doing why are you be done with your your past shit you know or or figure it out do something virgo because i just feel like you know virgo you can sit there with your popcorn you'll watch your shows you'll enjoy the drama stuff like that but when it comes to having that in your life i mean you're not 100 percent down you you don't mind watching other people's drama <laughs> but when it starts in, infecting your life you're like no okay so there's a very strong magnetic attraction here with this person between two people trust has to be built okay there's a lack of trust here that gets yeah, finances and career Virgo I just feel like you're like you know I'm trying to keep everything going strong some of you might have um, gosh help this person with money or something and then you find out there's another there's a third party involved it doesn't have to be a lover it could just be another person I just feel like this person this third party is like possessive and jealous and codependent and, and a, like addicted to whoever it is that you connect with there's like a this could be the case of like the ex I won't let go. This is the case of the jealous ex. This is the case of someone who has every right to be upset because their person is stepping out on them. I feel like for you, you're kind of, it, it feels like you're getting caught up in something um, that you're not trying to get caught up in. And your best, you know, your best advice here is to, when the opportunity comes to, you know send this person on their way or get yourself moving out of it do it as fast as you can okay yeah this person i feel like i look for you everywhere i feel like this person is going to keep seeking you out um they're going to try to yeah see they're, they're trying to have this connection here understanding the connection you, I, I hid who i hid things from you okay um you're the best thing in my life i feel like very passionate about you um, again finances we already talked about that yeah they're gonna admit to it being their fault um, they should there's a message here of I should have told you about him or her I should have said something to you but I I didn't and I didn't think yeah I wish I could take back my words hmm okay warning don't miss the red flags here Virgo all right yeah I wish I could take back my words so this person told that's how your that's how their person found out about you they told them or they their person asked them and they admitted to it now that just drew you in without protecting you okay yep this there for some this is someone who's married to this this a it's a marriage Ooh. i want to feel that way again i had behind material things okay yeah, I don't know. You're you were this person feels like they met they met you, meeting you was like the person they're meant to be with. There's a whole lot of drama. <laughs> a whole lot of drama. Oh my gosh, I hope that you can forgive me one day. A whole lot of drama, Virgo. Um it's a case really of two people meeting when either both of them were attached already or one of them was already attached and it was like an unexpected thing 
Um, and I feel like whoever this person is wasn't really trying to get out of their relationship or their marriage. I feel like they were just trying to outsource so they could feel better or get something in return because they weren't getting it at home or with somebody else. And then boom, a spark gets created. And this feels like an unexpected falling in love kind of thing here. And it feels like for them, right? And for you, maybe, maybe you caught feelings or you will catch feelings with this person. But as soon as, as soon as spirit comes down and says, here, <laughs> here's, here's some money, get on the bus, get out of town for a while. As soon as that happens, Virgo, or you feel that energy, even if it's not actually money to catch a bus or whatever, put gas in the car and get going, whatever, as soon as you feel that energy, just pull out, pull out like an 18 year old having sex for the first time, pull out <laughs> fast. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a couple of charms, and then I'm going to do some. Actually, we're going to pull some signs and numbers. All right, we have Sagittarius again, 1967, 1970. We have September 12th. We have Libra, and, and no, that's Virgo. We have December 10th. Somebody's born 1987. Okay, we have Aquarius. Somebody is 36. Somebody is 47. Okay, mm, 421, I'm hearing. The number is 421. And okay, 1976. Somebody was born in the year of the dragon there. Okay, so there's a year of the dragon here. Um, there's also year of the snake. And. Yeah, we have the numbers 310. Okay, we have 911. All right. And you have a Christmas candle. Hmm. Somebody's name is Holly. Or lives on the Holly Street. Lives in Hollywood or near there. Um, okay. Now we have a turtle again. If you another turtle, sea turtle, or a turtle, somebody's connected to a turtle. And then we also have a tree. Wow, big oak tree. Oh, I just heard bonsai tree. A bonsai? Maybe somebody does them or just bought one. You're looking at one? Okay. And uh, I just got the, the date. They gave me February 9th. And you also have a dove. Okay. Doves, doves and Christmas? 12, okay, that's what they just said, 12 days from now, 12 days from now, so not this weekend, but next weekend, and that's what I feel, let me see, next, no, the week of July 11th, some of this energy is playing out, I feel like the week of July 11th, oh my goodness, um, let me just get some Chinese signs, see what else because we said you had the, the year of the snake and the year of the dragon okay let me see okay so we also have the year of the rat year of the goat oh year of the horse hello horsey oh there's year of the rabbit there's the dragon right there. If you're a dragon or your person is a dragon. Oh, dragon twice. Two people might be dragons. Let's see. Okay, now we have an ox. And one more. And a goat again. Okay, double goat energy, double dragon energy. All right. And there's your snake. Okay, big old snake. Someone trying to give you their snake or snake the drain, clear things out. Somebody's coming in to try to clear things out with you. This person, I'm, I'm telling you, they're, they're going to be calling you up, apologizing, telling you they're sorry. They want to try. They're, you know, I don't know what's going to go further than that. So I'm going to go in the extended reading, see if they're going to leave their person or what's going on. Are they just going to keep playing these games? And, you know, because usually, you know, if they're coming in with that King of Swords energy, well, they're coming in with truth. All right. So. We'll take it from there and see how that goes. All right, Virgo, thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to show up 
on, oh wait, you know what, you guys, I said yesterday, July 3rd was a Friday. I still got my June calendar up. July, 3rd, July 1st, this Friday, um, join me for the live stream live chat that you can get a little tarot reading for me. It's going to be free. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of people in there, so I'll try to get everybody's questions. Uh, if you want to make a super chat donation, you can, and then I'll see your, your highlighted, and that will help. Definitely, that will help. Um, all right, you guys, so it was short but sweet, but I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, take care.